Mommy? What are you doing up so early, Mommy? It's 3.15. What's the matter with you? Oh, baby, I can't go to sleep. I just not feeling good. What's going on, Mama? I miss my Mommy. I miss Nanny, Ma. Oh, Mommy. Mm -hmm. She thought you were being lazy yesterday. Why? I was sick yesterday. I ran around all day yesterday, actually. You didn't put a candle on. But I did throw the ancestors water and peanuts and cashews and almonds and what else? No, I do, Mommy. No, baby, I couldn't go to the store. You know, Mommy has to walk a lot. She gets tired, too, and it's been raining a lot here. You know? Nani Ma's going to have to get over that one. Mommy, can you put some candles on today? Okay. Nani Ma's so demanding, Mommy. Be nice. She wants some roses today. Oh, I'm tired. I don't want to go to the store. I'm going to go pick up one more medicine because I didn't have it yesterday. This, ca this cold caught on me really quickly. I was fine. And boom. Sick. Sick as a mother effer. You know what that means. I wanted to be in the hospital so I'm going to stay home. Relax. Mm -hmm. Just chill. Mm -hmm. Mommy. Mommy, your birthday's coming. Yeah, it's just, it's it's a birthday, all right? Yeah, things didn't go out the way I wanted them to go, but sometimes God knows best, you know. I was supposed to go to Paris this birthday, but no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna able to go. I'm a little sad about it, but I'm not in control, you know. God is in control. Maybe he don't want me to go. I don't know. And I say for for a long time too, you know. But if he don't want me to go, what am I going to do? I can't make things happen. Only he makes things happen. He controls every little thing. He controls your voice. He controls your airway. He, he controls how you're breathing. He controls everything. Every cell in your body, he controls. He He's all in all, and people don't understand that, you know? People think they can do it all, but they can't do anything without him. Remember that, baby. They can't do nothing without Jesus or without the Creator, whoever they believe in, because your Creator loves you, and he knows what's best for you. He goes before you. He goes before you. He checks out the scene, and he says yes or no. And you might want to go, right? Like, for example, if you want to be with somebody, and this is probably not a perfect example, but if you want to be with somebody and God has seen how they are, and maybe God don't want you to be with that person, you know? So God will take care of that too. Not in a bad way. He, he will cut the connection, you know? He'll cut the cord because he's seeing He's seen already how that person is, you know, so he's going to cut the cord, you know, and he might send you somebody better, so that there's something better, you know, and you might not know if there's something better because you continue to be like, oh, no, 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 I want that one. But God's like, no, I'm going to give you what I want to give you because you're my daughter. You're my son. I'm going to take care of you. And if people don't understand that, then I don't know what to say, people. Yeah, mommy. Yeah, I love you. Mommy, make sure you take your medicine, yeah. And you know, I don't like taking medicine. That's the problem. But I'm on a coconut up water today all day. Woo! It's going to be an adventure. See ya, alligators.